All right, guys. Um, obviously, that was a you know heck of a team win. Um, you know, first of all, it's not hard. Uh, it's not easy to go on the road and get any ACC win. And uh, I'm just awful proud of our football team for the way they just continue to fight. I mean, that first quarter was a rough quarter, and, and things could have just fell in and collapsed. Um, but our kids, you know, we talk about just playing together and, and keeping the faith. And and uh, that's a talented Florida State football team. Um, you know, they, they, their roster is is uh, full of NFL talent. Um, you know, our kids played hard. They play with energy. Uh, still made too many mistakes as far as penalties. We scored a touchdown. We got to celebrate with each other. Um, there's a lot of little things we got to still clean up in that second half. Uh, you know, I think the first series defensively, we had two two personal fouls. Uh, gave them 30 yards and just got them. You know, gave them field position. We changed you know changed the field position there. But um, just awful proud of our football team. You know, Kenny Pickett is a tough, tough son of a gun. I didn't know if he was going to go or not. And uh, obviously he went and went hard, uh, scrambled a few times. Obviously he had a heavily taped up, braced ankle, um, but he, 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 you know, he's my MVP. Um, you, know, that, you know, our offense ticks when he's out there. It's a little bit different. Um, it was proud of our run game. Um, we got a run game going as well a little bit. So um, with that, I'll open it up for questions. Pat, um... When you uh, you were talking about how how the first quarter was looking really rough for a while, would did you, would, did you say anything to your guys when when the, when they went up when they got another touchdown or was you know was it sort of just a kind of unified message like hey we all know we got to pick it up right now um, yeah, they, from your guys? Yeah, they did some things. They did some things in the first quarter that we hadn't seen, and um, I still don't know what happened on that, that that big run they had. You know, again, you know, Travis is a good player. I told you he could run. Um, but I think our end ran up the field and opened up a big gap. We'll look at the tape and see. But, uh, you know, they did some things that we weren't really prepared for. We made some, you know, great adjustments by our defense staff on the sideline. And, and um, you know, that's, that's how the game is played. I mean, they're going to always try to do something that um, you're not prepared for. But our kids our kids showed up and, and played their tails off. And, and again, it's, it's all about the players. They made plays today. Pat, you're a, go ahead, Alan. Did you get the sense that Kenny was playing through pain still at this point? And uh, how – if you had to you know, get close to a percentage wise, how healthy is he? You know, and I don't know. Um, you know, I don't think he played with pain. Um, you know, afterwards he feels pretty darn good. I said, how you feel? And he said, I feel great coach. So I think a win makes everybody feel a heck of a lot better, but uh, uh, we'll evaluate him. But you know, I don't think he was in much pain. Um, he, you know, that guy has been in therapy, you know, probably 10 hours a day. Uh, you know, Dale Thornton gets a lot of credit in our training staff of just getting him back to where he was today. And, and he'll be, you know, even healthier for next week. Pat, you have some young guys in that secondary and a couple of new pieces. Can you speak to the way they played and the pressure that you guys got up front to support them? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I, you know, I think I said it earlier, you know, they don't have 129 starts up there. We were able to put pressure, you know, four and five and six man pressure on them all day. You know, I don't know how many sacks we had, you know, seven or eight of them. Um, but, uh, you know, our young guys in the back, I mean, Eric Hout had a heck of a football game. Uh, I think he could have had a pick, you know, AJ. Um, you know, had a nice pick. And then, of course, Brandon Hill, you know, finishes the game off with a pick. Got to teach him how to celebrate with his teammates. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, we played a lot of young guys back there. Rashad Battle, uh, you know, obviously, DeMar Hammond had, a, you know, another, you know, tremendous football game. So, um, you know, we played a lot of guys back there. We were a little short-handed in the, short-handed in the back, back end, but uh, we were able to, to, to get it done. How do you explain uh, your, your team missing a lot of very important pieces on both sides of the ball? And we coming up with the biggest win of the season. You know, um, again, Jerry, um, you know, like I told you, Brandon Hill's a football player. You watch him run, you watch him tackle. Um, you, know, we, I, you know, I think I told you three weeks ago, we feel like Brandon Hill's a starter, period. He's a guy that uh, we, we knew can make a lot of plays, and, and obviously he did that today. Pat, uh, how important was it getting, you know, short field after short field on those touchdowns? I mean, you know, really help you guys out to take advantage of those opportunities. I know in the, in the past you guys have been on the other side of those before. No question about it. And that's, you know, that's all the difference in the world when, you're, you know, you give your offense a short field uh, to work with. And, and, again, Coach Whip on the offense did a heck of a job. Like I said, the, the run game, the pass game, you know, we put it all together today, and you know, that, was a complete, that was a complete win there, team win. Coach, what's on it? Oh, go ahead, Amanda. Okay, sorry. Thank you, um, Pat. What can you say about your team um, responding in this manner? You lose four straight games. You have the off week. Kenny's, hurt, you know, wasn't at one hundred percent today. Paris opted out. Like, what does that say about the resiliency of the team to overcome all of that and put on such a performance today? 
Yeah, I mean, it, it just tells you our kids believe in what we're doing, how we're doing it. And, you know, we really talked a lot about the details and the little things, you know, take care of the little things and the big things will take care of themselves. You know, we, we you know, preach that. And our, our kids did a lot of the great details today. I mean, they really played together as a football team. And it, it, tells, it, it, tells, you, it tells you we have a character football team. Um, you know, there's a ton of character. You know, our kids had, a, you know, they had fun today. And, uh, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Coach, you kind of touched on this a little bit in your opening statement, but just how proud of these guys are you and what you guys were able to accomplish today talking about, you know, coming back from this bye week and wanting to get back in that win column. Yeah, I mean, we talked all week about, you know, I mean, we got a four game season right now and, and uh, you know, it's one at a time. And, and again, we were, you know, there's 10 games canceled this weekend. And I still go back to, you know, the victories we've had off the field, keeping our kids safe, keeping our staff safe. And, um, you know, we had, you know, one contact, uh, person that wasn't here today, um, a, a young guy, and and uh, that was from being with family, um, and uh, you know the, the biggest victory really you know is is what we've done off the field, and again it, the kids get the credit for that. And whose idea was it to use your backup quarterback in short yardage? Um, obviously the offense staff, uh, you know Coach Whipple. I mean we didn't want to run we didn't want to run Kenny too much. Um, you know, Kenny was mad at the end of the game when we, you know, when we put Nick in there to run those two quarterback sneaks. He's like, "Don't take me off the field." Um, that's that's what he's all about. Uh, you know, he 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 yelled at me. Um, so, um, you know, but we're trying to keep him safe, and we had a lot of faith in, in Nick Patty. And obviously, he scored those two touchdowns on a, you know, in the empty you know zone play, um, which we thought was there. Um, and uh, you know, and again, Nick can throw the ball too. Pat, uh, obviously Jordan with 11 catches. It seems like he's he's doing this every week now. I mean, is, does he surprise you at all at any time when he goes out there and kind of is performing like he is as a freshman? Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me at all. I mean, you know, he, he's a football player. And, and again, he's, you know, it would surprise me if he was up and down every week, but he stays consistent. And, uh, you know, we gave him a chance to get on the move and uh, we motioned a few times to get him open and, and get off some press um, because they put their nickel back on him. Um, but, you know, Jordan Addison is a football player. Pat, Before we get to players, Alan, go ahead. Yeah, Pat, yeah, you played without a couple guys. Uh, Jason Pinnock specifically, is that a guy you expect to have back next week? Yeah, Jason will be back with us, you know, next week for sure. Hey, Zier. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. Max? Yes. He'll be back too? I, I didn't hear that question. I'm sorry, Taser Mack, will he be back next week too? Um, we hope so. I, don't, you know, I, could, I, I, can't, I can't speak to that right now. Chris, you want the last one? Hope so. Hey, Pat. Um, yes. Oh, oh, that Chris. My bad. Hey, hey, Pat. It's Chris Idell from Hermitson Radio in Baltimore. Um, that fumble that you guys had in the first, you know, when it was caused by in the first half, first quarter, that Florida State took it all the way back. It could have been twenty-one to three. How crucial was that? That that do you think that was a turn of the turning point that that was not called the touchdown? Yeah, you know, that's obviously a you know, big, big one. Now, obviously, you know, we had one of those earlier in the year when the ball goes eight yards forward, you got to assume the ball was going forward. And it was an incomplete pass. So, um, obviously, that was, you know, a big call in the game. And, you know, I think they got it right. Mr. Carter, we'll give you the last one. Go ahead. Thanks. Pat, you know, you've talked about needing to get your running game going. And you mentioned this week how you were going to stick, you know, keep plugging away because you knew it had to be part of your offense. Your running backs collectively got over 100 yards in this game. Just wanted to give you a chance to talk about the effort of your guys up front in your line, but also the fight you saw Vincent Davis and AJ Davis both break off runs. Yeah, I mean our O line obviously did a you know good job. You know, still didn't run it like we want to, but you know our O line did a great job. Obviously led by Jimmy Morrissey, and and uh, that's how you know we just got to keep plugging away and and then uh, going after those yards. You know, we had a couple of TFLs early, but we we hung with it, and then we were able to, you know to pop some runs in there on them. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, our first player guest is quarterback number eight, Kenny Pickett. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions for Kenny. Kenny, Pat said you felt pretty good. How's the ankle? And uh, I guess how 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 healthy are you? Uh, how how much are you limited by uh, your injury still? Uh, I mean, I don't want to get into you know percentage wise, but um, just not at a hundred yet. Um, Really, I had this game circled after it happened. I kind of knew this was going to be the game that I'd be back or, you know, at least plan to come back. So, um, you know, credit to our, our training staff and our doctors, uh, you know, Stacy, Rick, and uh, Dale. I can't thank those guys enough. I was with them pretty much living with those guys till till this moment. So, 
Um, you know, a lot of hard work went into it. And, uh, you know, I'm just grateful to be back. Kenny, Pat said that you spent upwards of like 10 hours with those guys some, some days. And, I mean, how, I guess, rewarding is it to see you the first game back? You guys get a win like this when you guys really needed one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's why you do it, right? I mean, I, like I said before, I had it circled, so I knew, um, you know, every day I was working towards this game. Um, so, I, and I mean, I was watching Florida State film early, and, um, you know, I, this was the one I had circled. I was definitely playing. Uh, no one else thought I was playing, but I knew I was definitely going to be able to play um, just because, like I said, um, you know, spending a ton of hours with them and uh, really dedicating myself just to getting back. So, um, you know, very rewarding. And how much pain were you in, and did you get hit on the ankle much? Uh, I said before, I'm not going to get into, like, the pain level. Um, but I didn't – there wasn't any hits. Uh, There's a cute few runs I had to take off and, um, you know, felt it a little bit. Besides that, uh, it was a pretty smooth game. Kenny, you uh, – you, you, uh, <laughs> Pat said that you weren't happy when uh, you got taken out for those QB draws early. But then you ended up taking one in yourself. Uh, can you tell us what you said to Pat during the game and then uh, just how it felt when you got, were able to get that first score coming back from your injury? Uh, I mean, just the competitor in you, you don't want to take the ball out of your hands. Uh, you know, you want, you want the rock in, the, in those kind of moments. Uh, you know, but Nick did, a, Nick did a great job, and we had a good plan for him. Uh, you know, we were planning all week if we got down there to, to take me out uh, and let him run it in down there, and, and it worked out pretty well. Kenny, can you describe the swing when it was initially called a fumble and it was 20 to 3 to the way you guys, like, flipped that game from that point on? Uh, really, you know, really just stayed together. Uh, knew it wasn't a fumble. Clearly, you know, was throwing the ball forward. Um, but I asked the ref. He's like, we just let it play out, and, and we'll get the review. So, uh, really wasn't too worried about that call. But I think the you know impressive thing was that we stayed together. Um, and uh, previous weeks, maybe we would have started turning on each other. But uh, you know, this game really stayed together and played as a team. And you know, it was really good to see. Kenny, what does a win like today say about the resiliency of this team? Uh, it says a lot, you know, we were, we were focused on getting back in the win column after the bye week. The big thing was getting healthy. Uh, you know, we needed that week off to, to get our, all of our bodies, right? Not just myself, but there's a ton of guys on the team that are playing through pain. Um, so, you know, when you see it, it gets, it motivates you to go out there and, and play even harder. Um, and I, I think this was a, uh, you know, a really good win for the program. You haven't played in, in almost a month, but your completion percentage was really good today. How much practice did you have this week? Real practice, I mean. Yeah, I would. Uh, I was pushing it this week in practice. Um, you know, I'm big. You know, practice like you play kind of guy, and you have to get the reps in practice. So I, I was pushing myself to to make sure that I, I got the reps that I needed, and uh, you know, it worked out for us today. Kenny, when did you know you were starting, and when did the team know you were starting? Um, I knew I was starting the whole entire time. I don't know when they knew. Um, I knew I was playing because um, really no one else could know if you're going to go unless you know yourself. So. Uh, I told myself I was playing. There was no doubt in my mind. There was doubts, uh, you know, from other people, but uh, I was 100% had this one serve and I was going. Kenny, it's been a long time. I guess the first half of your freshman season since you went into a week knowing you weren't going to play. What were those two games like uh, just watching and kind of not being able to participate? Uh, really just trying to do my best to help Coach Joey and Davis. And, uh, you know, just like I said before, as a competitor sitting on the sidelines is, you know, pretty frustrating. Um, you know, you see things and, you know, you just can't, you can't do anything. You just have to sit there and watch and, and try to help those guys the best you can. Um, so, you know, that's another reason why I just want to get back as fast as possible, um, you know, to help the team out. Kenny, do you think this could maybe, this win could spark something for you guys? So you got three regular season games left and then, you know, uh, possibly a bowl game, depending on how. Right. I mean, the season cool. stuff works out. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about weeks down the road. I'm worried about Georgia Tech now and, um, you know, maintaining healthy and, and uh, having a really good week of practice and head down there. So really just focus on Georgia Tech and, you know, let the rest take care of itself. Kenny, how about your defense with the turnovers and field position they gave you guys today? Yeah, huge. I mean, I don't know how many short fields we have, but I feel like we did a really good job of capitalizing on the short fields that they gave us. Um, I think special teams Kirk did an unbelievable job flipping fields and, uh, you know, that, that was huge. So I think we played really probably our best game of complimentary football, you know, all around defense helping the offense, offense helping the defense, and then special teams really helping everybody. Um, so, you know, that was really good to see. Do we have a final question? Okay. Yeah, Kenny, no, wait, uh, Kenny, uh, wanted, to, wanted to ask you about uh, just your connection with Jordan. You know, you come off from weeks and in this game, you targeted him 11 times. He caught all 11 of those balls. Just wanted to, you know, hear from you just, getting that rapport right off the bat coming out, coming back off of not playing for a couple of weeks. 
Yeah, he's a guy I put a lot of work in with in the off season. Um, like I said in practice, I was making sure I get the reps that I needed, and uh, you know those reps were definitely with him, uh, him, Shocky, Jared, and you know DJ, just to name a few. Um, but I wanted to make sure I got back done with those guys. We really didn't skip a beat in practice, and we came out here and you know executed the way we needed to. Hey, Kenny, appreciate it. Congrats on the win. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Is safety number nine, Brandon Hill, and he's unmuted now. So we'll open up for questions for Brandon. Brandon, how did uh, how do you feel your first start went? And I guess um, you know when you found out that Paris opted out and you would kind of take over the position. What were kind of your initial thoughts there? Um, I feel like my first start, I feel like it went, went pretty good. Um, I didn't know how to get the first game jitters out the way, but once that slowed the game down for myself, and I felt like. I'm surrounded by a great group of guys, and it's easy to play with um, the group of guys that I am now. So, and um, probably during the week, um, there was little rumors, you know, but um, but I was I'm always prepared, um, prepared, ready to go in. So, Brandon, kind of talk us through that uh, the the pick six, and uh, you know how good did that feel to find the end zone? Oh, it felt great. Um, like I said, um, Coach Bates, um, you caused up a great defense, um, great calls, put me put me in the right position. Um, the quarterback, he's just been throwing the ball out there. So I've seen, seen, um, seen it on the throne a little bit, trusting my instincts, and I escorted to the end zone by good blocks by my teammates. And, you know. Brandon, Coach Bates told us earlier in the week that he thought that you guys would have fresh legs and you'd, be, you'd notice the speed because of the bye week. Did you guys feel that? Do you think the bye week really helped today? Yes, I think the bye week helped a lot because we played three back-to-back -back physical games. And then we had to buy we the rest the rest of our legs, get fresh. Um, coach made sure he made that a, a priority to get our legs fresh for a bye week. So we came out here, like you said, it was fast and physical around the ball, and we had a great game. Brandon, take oh. sorry. Uh, Brandon, did uh, you feel any extra pressure in having to not only just this is your first game, but to replace somebody like Paris, who was, you know, such a big playmaker on the defense? Uh, I wouldn't say I would, uh, no pressure, no pressure. Um, we just, like I said, I'm always ready. I'm always ready to go in. Every time, anytime anybody needs one, I'm ready to go in. Got my helmet strapped on the sideline. And it was just my opportunity this week. And I feel like, I feel like we did well as a team. Brandon, can you take us into just what, what it was like amongst the defensive players? Your first two possessions, they, they, get, they get quick scores. Um, and then after that, you guys turn it around. They only got three points for the rest of the game. Uh, what was the what was the mindset? What were you guys saying to each other, trying to like you know just keep your heads together? Was there any sense of like, hey, someone got to step up right now, or were you guys pretty cool, calm, and collective, just trying to get that back? I feel those two first scores. I feel like it was going quick. They were going tempo. Like we were trying to a little flustered a little bit. But as soon as we got the game going, we slowed the game down. As a defense, like I said, I'm surrounded by a great group of guys on that defense, and it's easy to play with those guys. And we was in the right position to make plays. But as the game as the game went on, we slowed the game down. We was playing, playing our ball. So I feel like just slow the game down. We, we did well. Brandon, Jordan Travis kind of put a move on you there on the, on, the, on the long touchdown run. Do you feel like you learned, you came back to the sideline and kind of learned from that? And, and you feel like that could be one of those, you know, experiences earlier in, in your career that you kind of look back on and you build off of and learn from? Yes, sir. I'm always, I'm always learning, willing to learn. And um, like I watched the film and I'll see how I came in. But, um, but yeah, I feel like that, like, Kind of woke me up a little bit, you know, like, like, all right, it's time, it's time to like, feel me, start to play. So, um, I just felt, feel like as the game went on, you know, like I said, it slowed the game down. I was probably a little, a little flustered a little bit, but as soon as the game went on, I felt like it slowed down for me, played well. Brandon, when you guys came into training camp, you had three seniors and a redshirt junior starting across the secondary, but it seemed like there was some talent there behind that group and through injury and, and now Paris leaving and some other reasons, a bunch of those guys have gotten the opportunity. Did you guys know, maybe even back then, that, that you had a lot of talent in that room besides those four starters, and it was just a met question of when you guys were going to get your chance? Yeah, I feel like everybody in that room, um, the deep room, was very talented. And, you know, like I said, when everybody the opportunity to come, it is time to step up, you know. And um, like I said, a great group of guys, great group of guys in that deep room, and we feel like we play good together. I feel like we're a close, a close group, 
feel like we're very close together. So it's like the communication was there. It's like we t I'm talking to Demar, I'm talking to AJ Woods, I'm talking, I'm talking all over the field. So I feel like we communicate well and we just got a good relationship together. So I feel like it's easy to play with each other. Jerry, do you want the last one? Okay, uh, thank you. Brandon, did you actually throw the ball into the stands to your family? And what did the coaches say to you when you came to the sideline? Oh, no, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to. I seen my mom in the end zone, but, but I just had to realize that um, it's a team game, and, you know, um, that's a penalty. So I just decided the excitement, the excitement of it all, first interception, first pick. So it was just the excitement. But, but um, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm not going to do that no more. Well, thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Our final guest, linebacker number 32, Servasier Dennis, has joined us. And we will open it up for questions for Servasier. Ross, did you feel you guys had, uh, at least in the first half, had the quarterback on the run a little bit, a little bit concerned about uh, your pass rush? No, I don't think so. We made a couple adjustments during the game, but we weren't worried about it at all. No, I mean, did he, was he worried about you? You guys seemed to be putting a lot, a lot of pressure on him early. Oh, I think so. You know, he was jumping around the pocket all over the place. And, you know, we have some, we have a good up four, front four. And, you know, we try to get after him. And that's what we do as a defense. And that's what we did. I feel like. So, Vasi, it really seemed like the, the guys, the, the, you guys were putting a lot of pressure on. And, and after that, you started to see the secondary start to feed off of you guys' energy. Can you talk about just the chemistry? Because, you know, you guys, you gave up a couple scores early, but then you rebounded. And then it seemed like you guys were feeding off each other's success. And then, you know, you saw DeMar doing the dunk on the sideline. And the, the excitement really came back for you, for you guys as a whole. Yes, um, this week, that was a big emphasis we had. It was just, you know, bring the swag back to our defense. Just be ourselves, have fun. And that's what I felt like we did out there after, you know, like I said, we made a couple adjustments and we just played our game and have fun. Servasier, what's it mean to the whole team just to have Pickett back? Uh, he's our leader and he's a great leader at that. So, you know, just to have uh, our, you know, biggest leader out there, it means a lot. And, you know, he played his butt off tonight. And, I, you know, with him, you know, just wanting to come back and just, you know, play his game and play his best for our team, you know, that's a, that's a big thing. So, you know, I have the utmost respect for Kenny, and I love him for that. So, Rossi, another three uh, tackles for loss for you tonight. I mean, is this season going the way that you kind of expected it for you personally, just the way that you've been able to produce and get really, you know, get after things in the backfield there? Um, I'm just playing my game out there. I'm just doing what I can for the defense to make plays. So I just expect uh, expectations, you know, I'm not really too worried about those. I'm just here to play and play for my guys at that. So, Rossi, how much like of a complete complimentary football game was this for you guys today? Uh, it's something we definitely needed. You know, coming off a of bye week, we had talks about, you know, adjusting some things and something – yeah, uh, that we really needed was a win. And just to get our chemistry back, not a just defense, but as a team. And I think we did that here tonight and it was big for us. Do you feel like there was any uh, extra pressure maybe on the defense to go out and have a, a good performance after Notre Dame and, you know, a couple of uh, late losses against NC State and Boston College? I don't think so. I think we were just, like I said, here to play our game and, um, we didn't we didn't feel any pressure to put it that way we didn't we didn't feel like we had to step up or do it we we played our game and you see when we play our game a lot of things can happen and a lot of things can go good our way so Ross, what to say about the immediate future this season and the future going down the road you guys lost a lot of experienced players this year and and the young guys have stepped up what to say about the the state of the program we're ready we're ready to play all the young guys you know are eager to play um, and we just want to build chemistry now. If we can do that, I think down the road we'll be even better, even great. So, how excited were the guys for Brandon Hill to have uh, that kind of that kind of success in his first game? Very excited. You know, uh, B Hill is a great character guy and a great athlete as well. So just to see him, you know, have a good game and even a whole pick six, you know, that was the whole team was elated for him. 
Anything final? All good. Well, appreciate you, Sir Congrats on the win. Thank you. Everyone have a nice night. Safe travels. Thank you.